Hampshire to present to you Ateneo against the Sal. What a way to start the season. And much later on, it'll be USD against FEU. What more can you ask for on opening day, Randy Sakdala? Nothing more. Nothing more, Seth. Certainly, it's, it's a big afternoon for UAE because for you and me, this is a big one. Okay, you're from La Salle, and I'm from Ateneo, and Pia Gonzalez is from Ateneo, Ateneo. Bobby Young is from La Salle, so we are perfectly balanced on this day. Let's go to Pia, who will report about the Blue Eagles, and Bobby Young will take care of La Salle. Take it away, guys. Okay, Seth, today the Ateneo Blue Eagles are ready to soar and soar high. Unlike last season, wherein they opted to stay atop their perch and survey the competition, uh, they did not join any preseason tournaments last year. This year, they decided to join the fray and join a lot of preseason tournaments in order to get a lot of experience which was their weakness last year and so they joined the many games in Cebu, the PBL as well as the Father Martins Cup and so this is a team that has played together a lot and their experience together is serving as their emotional anchor today. I entered a dugout earlier and the boys were very cool, cool, very relaxed and very calm at least outwardly because inwardly we can only guess at the kind of tension that they must be feeling because they are approaching what could be the most important game of their season because you have to be an Athenian to understand that winning against La Salle is almost as important as winning the championship. Now let's go over to Bobby who has a report about the La Salle Green Archers and being a last light, he is wearing green pants. Bobby. Thank you very much, Pia. Now that the defending champions, the La Salle Green Archers, enter this season, they know that they are the hunted. Yes, they are the hunted now. And ever since they won the back-to-back -back championship, the day after that, they know that every team in the UAAP is going to be after them. Everybody wants to take them down. Everybody wants to chop them down. But Sev, Randy, Pia, and all the UAAP fans out there, let's not forget, for the past two years, the La Salle Green Archers are the best defensive team in the league. And we all know in the basketball speaking world, defense wins championship. Now, Seven Randy, when you see the green and white, you see a great defensive team. And Coach Franz Pumarin says, forget Ren Ren Ritual's scoring prowess. Uh, forget Mike Cortez, the rookie sensation. We take pride in our team defense. Now, let's talk about state of mind of the La Salle Green Archers. Let's talk about state of mind of De La Salle University as a whole. Alumni, teachers, students, it's all encapsulated in one t-shirt that's going around La Salle. And it says, and I quote, defend the back-to-back -back title by any means necessary. And I repeat, defend the back-to-back -back title by any means necessary. That is the state of mind of the La Salle Green Archers. Okay, that's all from here. Say, Brandy, back to you. And you are speaking like a true La Salle, like my friend here is controlling his aggression, but he is definitely going to watch at the Green Archers. The question with the Green Archers is, yung kanilang playing together is a question. Oh, yes, they will be facing uh, Ateneo. They played without uh, Aliado and Aldiguez, but that was not a UAAP. It's a different situation, Seb, for, for La Salle to be playing without uh, Aldiguez and uh, Aliado. It's the first time, no? It's a new season, I think, for the De La Salle Green Archers. And this game, the big one, the showdown between these two rivals, Ateneo against La Salle, will happen just after this break. This is the 63rd season of the UAAP on ABS-CBN. Just about ready to get underway. The starting lineups are being introduced. In just a short while, you will see on your screens the new safeguard, Andy Persford, and the other one starters. La Salle has been introduced. They will go with their strengths, Randy. Oh, yes. You have Ramos, Ritualo, Santa Maria, one, two, one, uh, two, one, and one, Jose. This is the most experienced five for the La Salle University team. On the other hand, the starters for the Blue Eagles currently being introduced. Season, Tanchi, Cruz, Alvarez, and William Weber. The Blue Eagle and the, the Blue Bubble Battalion, they sensed they missed out on a chance last year, but Lasalle just played so well, and USD was also strong. USD will always be a factor when you ever talk about the UAAP. Oh yes, in fact, they're rated number one in our preseason covering for the uh, UAAP, but certainly the build-up of Ateneo, we will see the fruits of that build-up set. They're starting off with the strongest five, with Season, Tanchi, Alvarez, Gonzalez, and Villanueva. So, well, this is going to be really strong. Well, Andrew Cruz starting instead of Wesley Gonzalez for uh, Ateneo. As and you can see there on your screens, should be an interesting matchup. Two teams, in fact, that know each other so well. Mm -hmm. It's just that Aliado, as well as Aldeguer, are no longer in the picture. They've moved on to the pros. That's right, uh, Sev. And I think it's a challenge, really, for Santa Maria to be covering Alvarez down low. Santa Maria skipped last season and reactivated this year. He's coming up from a very strong NCRA season, but this is the UAAP set. Okay. It's a different tournament altogether. And I think uh, um, Philippine Sports Commission Chairman Mr. Carlos Butch Twason will be in the center of the Coliseum here at the Adaneta for the ceremonial toss. 
And there he is on your screens right now. We'd like to remind all our viewers that the second game, USD against FEU, we can watch it later on at Studio 23, join Jude Torquato as well as Mark Molina. They'll take care of that while we give way to the regular programming of ABS-CBN Channel 2. And that's one big ball game. Also, seven opening day games for the UAAP, FEU and USD coming right after this Ateneo de la Sal game. I am going to stay and watch that as well <laughs> because that is such a huge game. As you take a look at uh, Franz Bomara and what a marvelous job he has done for the LaSalle Green Archers. Well, he has not lost a single UAAP as coach and for Coach Joe Lipa, he wants to get another ring. He did it in 1986 for UP. Okay, and there he is with uh, Father Carmelo Caluag, the uh, Vice President uh, for Planning of the Ateneo de Manila, who has uh, helped spearhead the resurgence of interest in athletics in general at Ateneo. Ano mo, sa history ng isang eskwela, Hanra, hindi mo awala kung minsan nag e yung interest, nagsa-champion, tapos bigla na lang nag e ng konti. That's why you have to sustain it. Kung walang support, let's say, from the alumni, from the students, and from the administration, very important, Sam, that the school continues to soar high. That's why, in the words of Coach Joe Lipa, excellence for Ateneo. It's Rafi Britannico as well as Richard Villanueva who will have the whistles for this game, but we're getting ahead of the story. We're trying to get the official ready there they are they're trying to complete the dramatis uh, personae uh, to be able to get this uh, ceremonial toss on its way but the UAAP officials had a great opening I must congratulate USD well I think and in fairness to all the other schools only a USD can do such a production Durant 
Nacho scores! Oh, that's a big one for Ateneo. And they're running, Seb. We thought that it would be the game of Lasal that will be running, but Ateneo getting first crack at the transition play, converting the first two points of the 63rd season. But good idea by De La Salle to put the pressure early on on the Blue Eagles, but there's a steal by the Ateneans. Anchi attacking the right side, decides to swing it to Rainier season. The lob of a three, it's a strong shot. And Kuan picks up the loose change. Well, he was tempted, he was open, and really Season is one of the gunners that you should watch out in Ateneo. You're always wary when Season has the ball in three-point distance. In the meantime, Lasala on the attack with Tom and Wallow being checked by Cruz. In the meantime, there's the penetration and the first blow, the whistle of a foul. It looks like Santa Maria has a mission this afternoon. But I look, oh. it looks like an offensive foul. <laughs> It's on Santa Maria, Adonis Santa Maria. Iba, let's keep in mind that amateur rules are in effect because you know, uh -huh, yeah, the yeah, way yeah. the uh, offensive fouls as well as the defensive fouls make one thing nuances, yeah. Oh yeah, so to yan, uh, Seb, no? and uh, sa amateur, less ang contact at tawagan ka pagka may panggaan. Enrico Villanueva flies without having the ball with him, he tries a second serving, puts it up, a little too strong, follow up, still nothing for the Blue Eagles. Enrico fighting for it on the baseline, picks it up. He's watched by Ramos, outside to Cruz. Back down to 18 and 25. We're in the first half of play. We play halves here. Shot clock at 17, the outside attack. And Season working on his first two points. And Ateneo, the offensive boards right now gave that possession to Ateneo. And I think Nassau should watch out for those offensive boards which Ateneo would capitalize in their play. Santa Maria's underneath, he's rejected. Gets a second serving and puts in Nassau's first pair of points. And you don't deny Adonis Santa Maria. That's his game, actually, he said. To those who missed him last year for the De La Salle Green Archers, his persistent, you may block him once, but he's going to come up for that another putback for De La Salle. All times, he brought it up over to Andrew Cruz. Cruz looking inside. We go into the wing, Stanti on the drive. It's a pass off to the other end. The shot will work. Big one for Richie Alvarez. He's going to throw out uh, Santa Maria with that basket. Ateneo still on top. Six to three. Richie Alvarez, they're spreading out the offense for the Blue Eagles. In the meantime, we go to the La Salle attack. Here's Red Red with Wallow. Red Wallow over to the top of the key to Kuan. The outside shot. Well, well, it's, a three. it's a huge one. Ramon Jose converting the big three. Seven. And, uh, I think that's going to be one of the strengths of La Salle this year. They're going to go for the perimeter in the absence of Aliado downstairs. Something they really didn't do all that much no. last year because he has a feeling uh -huh. that Aliado was inside. In the meantime, the Blue Eagles have pressure. Yes, oh. it happened. Ten seconds and it's a violation by the Blue Eagles. A little uh, lack of alertness on that particular scenario, but take nothing away from La Salle for applying the pressure. But that's going to make Coach Joe Lipa happy for Ateneo. Side 17 on the shot clock. Here's Mon Jose. Mon Jose starts his drive, pops from 15. It will not go. Rebound contested, controlled by De La Salle. The turn to the basket. Santa Maria just missing it. Santa Maria gets it back. It will still not work. And a rebound caught for it on the floor. He has it. And finally a foul. It's on De La Salle. And boy, this is the action that we're missing. <laughs> I told the UAA we don't have any more summer vacation. <laughs> Just the hustle here, foul called on uh, Mac Kuan, I think on uh, De La Salle Green Archers. Inbound for the uh, Blue Eagles. Green Eagles. <laughs> In the meantime, Cruz picks it up, over to Season. Season launches, it's a three, but goes, it is! La Salle missed out on Rainier Season. Again, he was given the open look to the basket, and that's going to mean trouble for De La Salle once Rainier uh, starts hitting his shots from the outside. 16 and 20 to go, 9-5, moving us in front. Here's Ritualo. Ritualo looking for the opening, goes to Kuan. Ronald looking for Ritualo. He's open, lobs it, it will be too strong. Rebound, Santa Maria, bludgeoned inside, no whistle. Wow, what kind of basketball we're looking at, Seb? Lob inside, Alvarez with a eye in the sky play, that's wild. Lasalle did not give up on that particular play. In the meantime, here's Ramos in the box. They go to the wings. That will work. Smooth and easy.
easy for Macu and for De La Salle. So just a two-point lead now for Ateneo. Almost five minutes gone by here in the first half. You know, whom I always like to see on the La Salle bench is Gia Vanilla. He used to play for La Salle uh -huh. in the Junior Court, and he's now an assistant for Franz Pomare. Paul Tachi brings it into the box. Moments already lost it, and Rico Villanueva goes up. Can't get it. Gets a second survey, and Rico knocks it down. Well, La Salle would have to do a better job boxing out Rico yes. Villanueva. He won't. He shouldn't be allowed to get those uh, second uh, servings and four-point lead for uh, the Blue Eagles. But it is too easy for Enrico. They have to put a uh -huh. body on him. Yes. Nasal on the attack. This will lob out. Juan Jose unable to sink it. Five minutes going by us here in this first half. Into the corner. Alvarez. No dice. The whole team shooting very early in their offensive, and I don't think that's, that should really be the play for both La Salle and Atene. They've not converted on those quick attempts to the basket. Here's Kuan. Kuan being watched by Tanchi. Tanchi is playing in his last year for the Blue Eagles. Jose pops it in to the corner. Shot clock reduced to nine. La Salle under some time pressure, but Kuan says, what time pressure are you talking about? I have a shot. And the ball is loose on the base. Like this. Oh! What a shot! Redmond Ritualo, his first basket on a spectacular reverse. And the left. entire Blue Bubble Battalion is silenced by the magnificence of that shot. Here's a big opinion of trying to get back the two points. The running shot. Go! Well, he's just running rings around Manny Ramos. I don't think that's a decent defense to go against Rico Villeneuve, allowing him to do the sidestep and that put up shot. And Ateneo is still with a four point lead. Villeneuve, of course, was one of the prime contenders for the MVP award. Downstairs we go. It's a oh! Santa Maria! I guess he's possessed this afternoon. He's answering the call of the De La Salle. Pressure in the backcourt. Finally, Cruz. La Salle screaming for a 10 second violation. Cruz off the way. Oh, oh, yes. That is a great play by Andrew Cruz from the backcourt, laying it up over the big men of De La Salle. Parang nakita niyo. Oh, well, the defense is. Si Sig Saki ko kayo, iwan ako kayo. We didn't react lang itong si Andrew Cruz. Retualo, Retualo with a pirouette from the 15-foot line, just inches short, Alvarez blocks the rebound, Enrico Villanueva, weak pass, red by Retualo. Villanueva just a step late, and it's a backing violation. Oh yes, the uh, scramble was at the middle of the court. And we will take an awesome slam dunk as brought to you by new safeguard, Android first spread, and the other end slams 99.9% of body odor causing germs. We've got a timeout, we'll be back. Hardcore. All the scoops, scans, scores, stats, pictures, profiles of your favorite UWAP team as you log on to www.pinoycentral.com, the official website of the UWAP, Pinoy Central, everything for the Filipino underway. With this one, Ateneo with a four-point lead with 13-13 to go. And Rico Villanueva trying to lob it inside, but he gets it finally to Alvarez. Alvarez well, slashing well to the basket. Well, Ateneo did their homework, Seb. They anticipated the double team coming from the side of uh, Rico Villanueva. So the cutter is the man who's double, is the man double team on uh, Rico Villanueva. And Ateneo scoring on that basket. It is the biggest lead for Ateneo, a six-point uh, cluster for them, 17-11. Enrico Villanueva not extending himself on that uh, last sequence. He had the chance oh, yeah, to scamper for it, but it's uh, too far for me. In the meantime, the Green Archers with 19 seconds on their shot clock will inbound from the baseline. Over now to Ramos, close range. Yes, La Salle has such great baseline inbound uh -huh. plays. And they've always worked on that so hard. And for Manny Ramos, I think that should boost his confidence against a favored Enrico Villanueva at the low post. Andy, what's going to give here? Both teams pressing the defense, bringing the defense up. Simon Bibi Guerrito. Well, the team that would uh, crack under the pressure of the double team. Well, that's an important shot for Tanji partner. And I think it's going to make the defense more honest at the perimeter para sa De La Salle because Ateneo is hitting the perimeter shots early here in the first half. Bigger lead by the Blue Eagles, a seven-pointer. I see Vince Hisson over there cheering for the Blue Eagles also. <laughs> no question. Oh, that shot from close range. Oh, he got it inside. And what a break for Mon Jose. Yeah, that was like a great break for uh, De La Salle. You'd have to box him out properly to be able to deny him that foot back. Here's Tanchi. Alvarez decides to pass off at the last moment. Cruz swings it over to the right side. That'll work. So they're just working like uh, in one fluid motion for the Blue Eagles. The efficiency of the offense of Ateneo, very impressive so far, except here in the first half. Season already with seven points. Blue Babel Battalion yelling to get that ball. In the meantime, on the floor for the first time is Gozum of Lazar. He overshoots. 
Gozum, of course, is Miguelito Gozum. Pero alam mo, nagdagdag ng ceiling din ng De La Sala, no? In the right. off-season. Samantala, penetration. Now, And a foul to both. Alvarez scoring. And really, the problems of La Salle being emphasized early on by the Ateneo offense down low seven. Take a look at this. Alvarez, such a good scorer, will find a way mm -hmm. to deliver. But you know, Jolly Bob, knowing him all these years, he's not satisfied. No. I, I can actually hear the voice of Pia Gonzalez uh, saying, uh, but I'm concerned as we take a look at Vince Season, trying his best to be a cheerleader there. <laughs> well, through Blue Eagle, Vince Season. Well, he once routed the UAAP Wars here together with Richie Dixon. Oh, yun, alala ko na sinabi niya, they won against La Salle and they played so well. They were so uh, delighted with that memory. 11.29 to go. Blue Eagles ahead by 9. La Salle will just have to be a little more fluid on their offense. In the meantime, a foul against the Lasalites. What's it, Mon Jose, partner? Well, La Salle did box out uh, Richie Alvarez, which is really a crime in uh, in uh, boxing out defense. The shooter, you're supposed to block him out. And it looks like more trouble for De La Salle as Wesley Gonzalez, a potent scorer from the outside and inside, replaces Richie Alvarez. You know, Ateneo's advantage this year is that they had last season uh -huh. together. And they have so many weapons that they discovered, like Gonzalez, Alvarez, Tanchi. And they have not even played Monacher in Membre yet. That penetration will work. Well, the defense of La Salle wanting in this uh, half so quarter. True. You see penetrations coming in, no boxing out. And this is a 10-point markup for the Blue Eagles. Biggest lead of the Hail Mary Quintet. Enrico Villanueva watching uh, Santa Maria. Santa Maria trying to curl. He's rejected from the rear, but there's a foul correctly so. Well, Santa Maria really working on it. And that's going to be on Rico Villanueva. It's a different uh, instruction, I think, for Santa Maria. He has to take it strong to Rico Villanueva. At least earn his defense. Make it honest against the low post. And, uh, well, quickly, I thought Mike Cortez won't be fielded this early for De La Salle. But uh, the rookie comes in for De La Salle and for Ateneo. Another new player. This is uh, number 21. That's Paolo Bugia. Boops for short. Oops, uh, oops, oops. See, you know, uh, <laughs> 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 see, 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 Red Lion, si Benedict Membrere. Uh -huh. Ay, nandiyan na sa floor siya. Uh, Tinay na naiulat mo kanina. Isang MVP ng uh, uh, NCAA. NCAA Finals. So, si Magno Membrere. He's called Magno. <laughs> Magno. Eh, kasi parang baril niya kung kumasasero. Ganun ba? Ganun ba? He, well, in the Father Martin's Finals, he was trading three-point shots with James Yap of UE. <laughs> to the delight of the Blue Eagles. Santa Maria. Unable to take care of that. It's an 11-point lead. Here's Wesley Gonzalez. Gonzalez, his dribble broken up. And they're trying to bang it against Gonzalez. He recovers. He decides to pass up. Enrico will stab. Will not make it. Gonzalez follow up. Will not work. Rebound contested and won finally by Santa Maria. Whoa! The battle is really on. Here's Cortez. That's how we have to elevate the level of its poise. As yes, a this is a searing... Um, offensive line by Ateneo 26-15 with so many weapons, Randy. They will just have to come up defensively strong. You know, Sinas Abbey, France, Mumala, something they have to use. Well, the defense, really, they have more. Uh, Ateneo now is certainly more potent, more confident against De La Salle or against any UAAP team this season. With the score, Vega 26-15, 10-29 to go. The Blue Eagles head by 11. Get it. As we take a look at two very uh, hard-working young men, Mr. Gabby Lopez, our chairman at ABS-CBN, Mr. Anton Montinala of FEU, as well as the, I think he's the treasurer of uh, the UAAP as well. And, uh, well, LaSalle and, and, uh, is just having trouble with the efficiency of the offense of Ateneo. When the uh, possession evaluation is saved for Ateneo, it should be on a high mark what, what here. What do Possession evaluation. Possession evaluation. The pagka-professor ng mama pumapasok. Close up. Fourth side update on the Blue Eagles from Pia Gonzalez. Fans are playing very focused today despite the pressure that they are under. And this is because the team supporters have tried to reduce all additional sources of stress. Even the parents have agreed not to sit at court side to us, not to distract their sons. And so the players are very focused and concentrating on what they have to do rather than concentrating on trying to please an audience. Step Randy back. That is such a good report, and uh, we can't blame uh, Jolly Pop for going in that direction. This three-point shot will not work for Membere. First attempt as a UAAP player. Great run by Monrose! <laughs> that came from a good pass 
from Mike Cortez, who saw Monote scoring in for the two points. The lead is trimmed down to seven. Wesley Gonzalez's dribble is interrupted. The problem with Wesley Gonzalez, and the dribble niya makas parin. As you check out this low handy bone Gentex fast break, you know can, you can take it to the Gentex level with Globe Handy Ball. Just a great pass from uh, Mike Cortez. We were mentioning about the dribble of Wesley Gonzalez. He's tall, he's about 6'4", and he's forced to dribble, and he tried to retrieve the ball, the lost leather, in effect, got a foul, gave the ball back to uh, De La Salle. In the meantime, we have Raymond Maxumbal, number six, checking in for the first time. Gonzalez is now replaced. Jolly Pais trying to calm down uh, Gonzalez. And look who's in, the MVP of the juniors last year, Larry Ponashev, <laughs> and Bonashev. the MVP of the finals of the NCAA, Membrere. What could you ask for more from uh, Jolly Pais? Let's see how these two combine on the floor. In the meantime, LaSalle tries to swing it around, pass to the flyers. And it's the second unit that's delivering for De La Salle. Yes, Alvin Castro, deadly from that uh, angle, trying to climb back. Just a four-point lead now for De La Salle, Seb, and for Ateneo, rather. Ateneo, under time pressure, they finally get it across. Downstairs we go. Oh, oh, oh. That's gone. And that's just a great reaction to a uh, pressing defense of De La Salle. A press break made and a slam dunk by Rico Villanueva of Ateneo. Castro over to Cortez. Cortez. Back to Castro, the long top of three-point distance just wins out, rebound contested. Luigi's taking away, here's Membrera. Membrera trying to slow it down. He attacks the left flank, decides to send it over now to Ponacher, who dishes it to Enrico, who wants a second survey! They're just moving the ball well, Seb. Ateneo finding Rico Villanueva at the last end of the anchor, restoring an eight-point lead here for the Blue Eagles. It was largest at 11, but that has been trimmed down since. Eight minutes and 40 to go in the first half of play. This is UAAB 63 on ABS-CBN. Later on, the FEU USD battle will be seen on Studio 23. Do join Jude Turquato and Mark Molina for that one. In the meantime, the penetration, the pass off by Maxim Ball into the corner. We go, that will rim out, not working for Castro. Well, they tried to play, uh, play, make Castro make the shot from the outside, but so far it's one of three on the floor. Membrere Malakas, rebound contested, Bugia fall away, no. Luckily for Lasalle, it didn't go with, but they have second service again for Ateneo, Seb. It's going to be offensive foul on Mike Cortez. Well, he was tempted to go into that good move by Paul Tanchi. Here is that offensive foul you were talking about. And for Cortez, that is his first foul. Lasalle has been, um, I think they count the, team, the offensive foul as a team foul also. Yes, in the uh, amateur is going to count. In the meantime, Enrico Villanueva is our main star in our new safeguard anti first breath and deodorant slam dunk. You know, with new safeguard anti first breath and deodorant, it slams 99.9% .9 of body odor, causing germs. Membrera looking inside. Here's Bugia. Bugia trying to twirl around. Can't find anybody open. Inside we go. The intended pass nearly knocked away. Membrera over to Bugia. Bugia the shot. Will not work. Rebound. Contested. Oh, there's a press in the floor. And could be a foul against Alvarez. Yes, that's right. He cut into the uh, lane of uh, Alvin Castro, committing that foul, giving the ball back to the archers. Bobby Young, maybe you know, he a call in La Salle, but uh, it looks like with some defense they've been able to bounce back as we go to you for a close-up courtside update, Bobby. That's right, maybe you know, uh, uh, not much of a strong start in the save, and that was a uh, fail on the job of Ronald Kuan, who was now sitting down. And as we see the entry of Mike Cortez, Coach Pumarin put in Mike Cortez because the wide-open game now is tailor-made for Mike Cortez's game. He tells me he likes the running gun. He likes this kind of wide-open game now. It's Mike Cortez's job to follow up what Ronald Kuan did and use his quick and athleticism to break this game wide open. Sam, Randy, back to you. Thanks a lot, Bobby, and uh, I think it is evident that he liked that kind of game. In the meantime, Atenea has been called for 16 fouls. That uh, last foul might have been against Bugia, yes, uh, that was his first foul. Well, this is a challenge for the second unit of coach uh, for Lipa. Bugia and Alvarez, this combination, I saw this last year in Bacolo. And Ateneo you say it nicely. Bacolo. Okay. Right, Seb. <laughs> we just can't help it, no? When we ever mention that place. And yes, the, there's no. a smile on the face. Uh, oh, yes, they played well. Oh, this is a good block by Bugia on Ritualo, partner. Libre na si Ritualo doon. In the meantime, Polasher and Membere do not want to waste it. And could be a foul on the other end of the floor. The Ramos could not compliment the uh, effort of uh, Bugia oh, on the other end of the floor. So Membere will go to the free throw line for his first trip. And... I think uh, libre na si Ritualo oh. eh, no? na abutan siya ni Paolo Bugia. 
In the meantime, we have Rivera on the line. As we swing back to live action, he takes care of the first. We're down to seven minutes and 12. Ateneo ahead 31 to 22 as we report for you, uh, from you, uh, to you rather, from the Araneta Coliseum. <laughs> a long time friend of ours, we've covered him. Uh, he was with the Philippine basketball. Uh, Manung is around. Yeah, Manung Derek. He's always there. And uh, that Milo is also there. So two generations for the Pumarins. In the meantime, battle for it. Lost, but here comes Onachet trying to elude the defense of Cortez. Ball is loose. It's picked up by Delasal. Lead pass over to Cortez. Like me ahead. Oh, in the yes. Uh, Floyd isn't working and LaSalle is getting murdered with her half-court trap. Like, if it's 
Chris Kimball. Chris Kimball kicks, kicks it over to Membera. In the meantime, defense of Lasal has improved tremendously in the last few seconds. Shot clock is reset. The outside shot. Oh, that's, that's just a heady play for Kimball partner. Significantly not yet playing is BJ Manalo. Yes. De Lasal, uh, slightly injured. Uh, uh, that was reported, but he said Canina's around Robin, he's okay, Ramos takes a crack, no go, and the rebound is skied for by Alvarez, who has his second rebound. Here's Kimbo clocked down to 4.42. Anthony is on the attack! And another great move, it started with the creation of the offense by Kimbo, giving Alvarez the free hand, and in fact, Paul Tanchi was about to come in, but he had to be called back by Coach Jody yes. Pasev. Alvarez so far in the ball game with 10 points. Cortez on the outside, 40 to 29. Ooh, it was looking. Omar is gonna get mad. He was passing to a person whose back is on you, and that's an error against Cortez. In the meantime, the Green Archers will use a timeout. We'll be back, 40 to 29. Blue Eagles. Catch the action of the UAP, Mr. Rolly Cruz, our chairman of the NBA CBN Sports Group. Uh, again. Uh, Personally guiding us here as we take a look at Mr. Edu Manzano, Vice Mayor of Makati. For uh, lo lo loko sana, di klamo sinabi ng Vice Mayor uh -huh. of Makati. Wala na ako sinabi. <laughs> Ayos na. Si <laughs> Dud, si Dud sa uh, nag naging player din sa Lasal yan. Ah, eh? uh, nagkaruti si uh, Dud sa Lasal. Uh, he's always here, no, for the game. So uh, always na nice to see. Ang yung uh, lagi ako natatawa. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Tim. I'm going to Four minutes and ten seconds remaining. Cruz to Kimbo. It's 20 to 29. Blue Eagles uh, controlling the tempo of this opening half. Kimbo, second crack of the basket. This time it does not work. And the rebound is controlled by Wilson of LaSalle. I like the way Cortez has played so far. Here he goes to Retualo. The lob of a three. Ooh. Whoa, ho, ho, ho.
it's just a better passing team than their son in the first half. Okay, and uh, so far the scoring uh, by Wise the Sound Cortez, which won with only five. It's a bit of a struggle, but Alvarez and Villanueva already in double digits for the Blue Eagles. So that's just an uh, the emphasis on the uh, trend of Ateneo. Alvarez and Villanueva scoring, of course, something mentioned the highlight place of uh, Alfred Antonio for Ateneo, huh? Alfred Antonio, of course, uh, contributing as much as a Chucky scores in four points and coming off the bench. Now, ikaw, unahan mo na itong uh, ating mga reporter na kada. Masal will have to play stronger defensively. They have to stop at it. But they did a good job of jamming Ateneo at the mid-court line. But I think on the part of Franco Omar, he will anticipate that Ateneo will check that trap. And uh, look at the inside points. Ateneo really bludgeoning De La Salle underneath with a 12-point difference. So they would have to prevent the pass of Ateneo going to Villanueva, back them out from getting those easy baskets, particularly for Alvarez and for uh, Rico Villanueva. That's something that La Salle would have to work on in the second half. While for Ateneo, partner, I think largely they would have to check out their passing, particularly anticipating the half-court and the full-court trap of uh, De La Salle. And also cut down on the balls. They've sent okay. De La Salle to a number of free throws. We're just moments away from the start of the second half. By the way, tomorrow uh, we're also going to be having games mula sa uh, in the four other teams that did not see action yes. today. We'll see action tomorrow in, in Ateneo. Sa Loyola right. Gym. That we're going to enjoy the NBA <laughs> hardcore there. <laughs> oh, sarap yung para sa oh, hindi ka amoy. <laughs> it was unveiled, of course, during the gym rally of uh, the Blue Eagles just recently. Na inulan yun eh. Actually, nung asin ko na kay schedule, medyo tinaloy na nila nung asyete. But a great turnout as usual. I guess everything stops when the UAAP rolls on. By the way, don't forget, we are seen live as of the moment on ABS-CBN Channel 2, Studio 23, which will be the permanent home of the UAAP on ABS-CBN, the Filipino channel as well as PinoyCentral.com. Maganda yung uh, cheering music app. Inanalyze yung cheering. <laughs> Really 
netting them points. Bruce applies the brakes, the pass outside. Ang ganda ng pagbasa ng lasal ng mga pasa. Their defense is great in these lob passes. Cruz on the follow and looks short. Doesn't get the bounce. Ramos touches it last, but no. The referee has another opinion, and that's the only opinion that matters. Check out this pass play brought to you by Globe Handy Boat Jetex. Take it to the Jetex level. Good pass there to back to one. Well, I think it's really the key here is Chris Jose. He's a smart player, defensive player who reads the passing lane really well for De La Salle. Samson Meta alongside Randy Zabdala, Pia Gonzalez, and Bobby Yan that is nearly taken away and it's slammed against Alvarez and it will stay with the green and white. I like this matchup, Seb. Richie uh, Alvarez and Antonio Santa Maria. Nothing's going to give with this matchup. If you just joined us, Blue Eagles establishing as much as an 11 point lead. Juan Jose loves the three. Three if it goes. It will not, however, drop through the net. Here comes Cruz. Cruz on the attack. Into the wing she goes. Season loves the three. It will not stay in. Follow up inside. Alvarez too strong. Alvarez gets it back. Alvarez is back. Oh. <laughs> He's just doing it all for Ateneo partner. Imagine taking on the Manny Ramos and Adonis Samaria at the same time. Just the power of Richie Alvarez here and good timing at that seven. So Santa Maria and Ramos are trying to get the ball first instead of boxing out Richie Alvarez out of position. Yes, and that's the concern of Franz Bumal and Marang Wala inside the Wala eh. rebounders. Inukunan nila kasi yung rebound already. You have to make that position, feel the body of Alvarez. And Alvarez just too smart enough to go around where, Al where uh, Ramos and Santa Maria were underneath. As Ateneo unleashes the three fights in a fight by blue and white, Alvarez takes care of the free throws two for two, and he has 12 points, giving Ateneo a bit of a cushion here, 18 and 17 to go in the second half. Here's Kuan. Kuan penetrates, can't get it through. The rebound being fought for a referee's whistle, halting the action. It's going to be a foul against the archers. It could be on uh, Adoni Santa Maria. And second foul on Santa Maria. And the second team foul, uh, as you check on the gentleman to the left of your screen, is Mr. Charles Lim, VP for Marketing uh, and Sales of Globe Telecom, while Mr. Mekor Kiyoge, of course, is our big boss at Studio 23. And Rico, too strong, Cruz, scampers with. Season thought about shooting, but decided to swing the offense around. Shot clock is reset. Yes. Keep that in mind. That's the difference in the amateur. As long as you take a shot, even if it's an air ball, it resets. Villanueva sidestepping, going left, he misses. Panchi sails in, difficult shot, nowhere to go, all dressed up, but no exact destination. Chance for Lasalle to come within three. Retualo wants a pick. Ramos rolling with it. Here's Mon Hussein. Mon Hussein lobs it. He is clipped on the arm. That's the idea that uh, France won. Drive down the middle. Jose got the foul. Two free throws for Mon Hussein. In the meantime, with a close-up courtside update, let's send it over to Pia Gonzalez. Pia, what's the latest with the area of the Eagles? Well, Seb, only one major concern for the Blue Eagles entering this second half, and this is on working the break, uh, on breaking the press of the Green Archers. They have a tendency to crowd the floor, and this is hardly the way to go if they want to be able to fulfill their objective of converting off and despite the Archers' press and despite the Archers' defensive pressure on their own defense, they have been asked to maintain their intensity as they go for full denial of Gwen Renick in this period, although they have been able to limit him to only five points in the first half, they refuse to take any risk of him getting hot in this period. Seth? Yes, indeed. In the meantime, with a hot, hot hand, it is season. He's just a top of his game so far, Seth. Rainier season is raining along, too. Antonian yelling for get that ball. That's the second rainbow connection by Season. In the meantime, down the baseline goes Ritualo, tries to go to Santa Maria, but there's a foul from the rear. Cruz checking out, and it could be a foul on. It could be on Andrew Cruz or Rainer. Is it Stanchi? No, it's on Season. You're right, partner. First on Season, 16.51 remaining. Antonian is disappointed simply because it was an opportunity to start uh -huh. the ball rolling on the other end. They have a six-point lead, but not without a serious threat from the gentleman from Taft Avenue. In the meantime, Kuan dishes it over now to Santa Maria. Retualo can't go straight up. Santa Maria goes all the way in. It's hammered, but no whistle. Banji brings it across. Finally into the hands of 
season. Excellent pirouette over to Villanueva. Villanueva stops. No. Well, he just has a confidence partner for Rico Villanueva. Even if Ramos is there, the hand of Ramos on his face, Rico will just go on and try to make that shot. And he'll go to the free throw line, fouled on uh, Manny Ramos. By the way, of course, to UAAB fans, you might be wondering, well, Asi Ryan from the of the Blue Eagles, ineligible chef for this particular season. So uh, they're going with a different lineup this year. In the meantime, William Rabbi is on the strike. Free throws have been his problem. Well, Andrea had trouble in the first half with the free throws. They were only, uh, they made a few trips to the line. After the, after the four free throws for Ateneo, making two of four in the first half. It's still a 50% shooting for Ateneo. Ang uh, sabi sa akin ng mga, well, shooting doctors, and on, uh, like Nemi Villegas, who has worked with the Blue Eagles, it's too good ni Villanueva. Hindi babang baba, uh -huh. kaya wala siyang kabuelo-buelo. Uh -huh. He split uh, his charities there. Don't forget, uh, we will have the Tamaraz and the Rowling Tigers from FBU and USD. They'll take on each other later on on Studio 23, Junior Quadro, Mark Molina. And we'll have new friends, Ian Adewuya and Christine Gabriel. Now named soon legends. <laughs> Retuano! Oh, I love victory. it when he shoots. Like sipping a cup of coffee for Redmond Retuano. Really the impact of a three-point shot. Down to a five-point lead now for Ateneo. Alvarez over Natitachi who decides to call a play. Inside we go. Here's Padilla who saw precious minutes in the first half. That one will not work. Better rebound by Lasal this time around. Kalina pinapanood lang nila. Well, they're boxing out first before trying to control that leather. Oh, look at this wild partner. And he goes all the way. Oh. This is out on the shot. The ball is loose. Picked up by Gosson, but not for long. Picked up by Bugia. And here comes Tanchi. Tanchi pushes it hard. But waiting for him is um, Gosson. Oh, yeah, just work. What a spin by uh, Richie Alvarez's partner. And Monose just couldn't do anything with that kind of a spin by Alvarez. And Alvarez already with 14 points. It's five minutes goes by. Five minutes into the second half. In the meantime, steal by the Blue Eagles. It's in the hands of Bugia, but Season says, let me take care of it. Let me quarterback for the time being. Here's Cruz on the other end. Natanchi, top of the keyhole. Together with Season, they are the captains of this Blue Eagles squad for this year. Season looking inside. A turnaround shot. This one will not work for Alvarez, and it's secured by Santa Maria, who has done a yeoman's job with five rebounds so far off the defensive pass and four off the offensive board. Here's Royal Kuan. Kuan attacking the right side. Decides to send it to the other end to Ritualo. Ritualo trying to create. Draws the double team. However, on the other end, Kuan can't sink it. Rebound controlled by Gosson. That will no not work. Santa Maria Black! Oh! Whoa! Ateneo on the attack. It's a three on four. Nonetheless, penetration. Cruz can't get it. There's a foul. But they're going to recall a foul on Makuan. But what a big game here by uh, Books Bugia taking care of the defense. Don't do that in front of me. Not here. Not today. Not in this game. And this one will continue after this. 54 48 Ateneo. Basketball also at Studio 23 tomorrow. In fact, we have UAAP games, we have NBA games, we've got everything uh, on Studio 23. By the way, this is uh, Joanna Panyalosa, Miss International, Catherine de Guzman, Miss World. And the beauty, of course, this is their home. <laughs> this is the beauty of the UAAP. You get, you get the beautiful people from the different universities, member schools of the UAAP. And is there any truth to the rumor that Miko Halili is now the eagle for the Athenians? <laughs> I'd like to find that out. Sir. Yes, you know, Miko, kuminsa may mga biglang nawawala na yun eh. Tapos yung pala siya yung nakasuot ng helmet na yun. Yes, ano? and, uh, exactly. In the meantime, no monkey business about this game. This is dead serious for these two teams. Gossum. Gossum with a spin. Good move, but just not able to complete it. Luckily for LaSalle, it will go back to them despite the efforts of those who try to retrieve the ball. It was last touched by the Eagles. 14 minutes and 3 seconds remaining. We're in the second half. Ateneo leading by as much as 11, but that is ancient history that happened in the first half. Here's Mon who has played so well for the Green Archers. The same thing with number 11, Mike Cortez. I think it's evident that BJ Manalo is still hurting, so yeah. not seeing all that action here today. Mon Jose with 18 on the shot clock. Plenty of time. They go inside. The inside. Bari finds the bottom of the net. 
Well, he's really a revelation in this game against Ateneo partner Santa Maria. You may block him once, twice, but he's gonna go up and fight for that ball. Matapang, ano, Matapang, ha? Partner. Six points so far by Santa Maria. Paul Tanchi, drop pass intended for Villanueva, goes nowhere, and it's going in the direction of Lasal, and they're within five. But Ateneo really pressed whenever the double team would come, and uh, Paul Tanchi unable to deliver the goodie. Look at this uh, play. Villanueva losing the handle on baseline. Lasal playing so much better in the second half yes. compared to the opening half where the Eagles really dominated. That's right, Seb. Here is Cortez, Mike Cortez, acting as floor director, head of operations. Mon Hussein, who is so deceptive at the two position. Oh! Oh! On Wesley Gonzalez, and what a shot! Gonzalez is really not into the uh -huh. game. Well, he didn't start, and probably he's coming off the bench. Number four on Wesley Partner. Take a look at the shot again. Who was there? Ang galing ni Ritualo, yung ibinabali oh. na. And just shows you the repertoire of shots that Ritualo has developed through the years. At uh, aminan na natin ang hazard sa Philippine Basketball oh. League. Kung saan naging MVP rin siya ng finals. Huling-huling ano eh. So the confidence level really Correct. andun uh, seven. Getting that confidence here in the second half. And it's down to a two-point game. La Salle's press is working. Cortez, Bishop, short oh stop, we're tied. This is the first deadlock of this game, partner. And La La Salle cheering section springs to life as we are tied for the very first time at 55 apiece. They came back with a press, 55 all. Luckily for the Eagles, Ritualo was called for a foul, but certainly the gallery of the archers going bananas at this point. And Enrico Villanueva is telling the Blue Bubble Battalion, get into it as well. Here's Mugia. Over now to Membrera. The shot. Oh. The shot work. Yes, don't forget the Magnum guy. He's a freshman, but he's playing with the confidence of a junior or a senior. You see that he's, he has the makings of a good point guard, where he decided that he can't make that pass, take that shot over uh, Adonis Sierra, and Andreas got a reprieve at this point. 57 to 55 with 12.35 to go. Top of the keyhole, Santa Maria. Gossum in the clear, straight, but not true. A pound of an air ball, yes it is. And it will go to the Blue Eagles. If you're an archer, nakakapanghina yung tira ni Gossum. Yes, and that is why there's a stunned silence right now from the LaSalle faithful. Two-point lead by the Blue Eagles. We're stepping out of a tie in the meantime, a foul in the backward in front of the Ateneo bench. Again, on Red Red Ritualo, that's number two on the Red Red. And in the team foul count, LaSalle has committed 16 fouls compared to four by the Blue Eagles. 12 minutes, 25 seconds to go. This is the opening day of the UAAP. Membrere, two in a row. Yes! The guy can shoot, partner. Magnum Membrere, a four comfortable five-point lead, but what a time to come for Membrere to hit his shots and get straight. And the seniors, the veterans, knowing that the rookie uh -huh. can score it, they're giving it to him. That's right, Sam. Now LaSalle will have to come up with a second response. They want to go to their main one, Retualo. This time it will not go, and no green archer inside for that rebound. Here's Captain Paul Tanti. Tanchi slows it down, over to Villanueva, sneaking from behind, Retualo, excellent steal from the rear. Retualo going one and one Membrera is lost. Arthur, it's just all red, red. and what a move by Retualo from a steal, completing the basket. Eight of his 13 points happening here in the second half, which is now down to 11 and 33. Bogia, double teamed on, Gonzalez is fouled oh! by Retualo. That's number three of red, red. Masyadong malawak ang spacing ng Ateneo of the press. They have to be closer to, that's right. to each other. So luckily for them, Renan was called for the foul. Yes, that's a lucky break for the Blue Eagles there. That's why he's so surprised. He's so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> but he has to be taken out. He's got three fouls. No? He has to end this game with De La Salle. And Castro would have to come in. But this is going to be different for De La Salle with Renan out of the ball game momentarily in the second half. Paul Tanji on the receiving end, 60 to 57. Blue Eagles ahead by three. Tanji trying to be delivered. They go to Membrere. Enrico Villanueva with nowhere to go. Bugia sliding Membrere from three. Not this time around. 
Gonzalez breaks, dangling onto the ball. It's a three-second violation against the Blue Eagles. Well, he was tentative. Really, you're right when you say that Wesley is not in his element in this ballgame, partner. The focus is missing for Wesley Gonzalez. Well, no smiles uh, from uh, Coach Jolipa, but a close-up smile from Pia Gonzalez. Yes, sir, this Bugs Bugia is playing well today. This is because of many hours of preparation in pre-season tournaments. It was quite noticeable that Coach Jolipa allowed him longer minutes on the floor. He was also given a trainer in order to help him build muscle and mass. And now Coach Jolipa wants to reap the rewards of his confidence. He's asking him to pound the courts and become a tough content competitor under the basket, Seb. And that has been evident, definitely so, Pia. I don't think Alvarez will have a long time sitting on the bench for Ateneo. Seb, he comes right back in to replace uh, Rico Villanueva. Score read 60 for Ateneo, 57 for De La Salle. And we should have about 10,000 tired people at the end of this game. Cortez, it cancels. Oh, oh, tip in! Wilson got it working. And now the offensive board working for La Salle, but still Ateneo on top by a point. Very, very sloppy play by Ateneo on the inbound, forced by the pressure of De La Salle's press. Santa Maria, chance for La Salle to grab the lead for the first time. Jose trying to create, goes in. Yeah. Yes, yes, La Salle ahead by one. Oh. And a timeout. And listen to La Salle roar. They're delighted because they climbed back from 11. We'll be right back. And get to meet Amina Aranas from the Ateneo. She's our Nesty's most refreshing face of the day. I love it when they say the complete name and the school. <laughs> get our refreshing face someday. Okay. Maybe sometime in the uh, program. Next yeah. century. <laughs> but look at this. Jolie Pan. Concerned look. He's lost as much as an 11-point lead. Now he has to challenge his forces how to play tough here in the clutch. Yes, they best out. Lasalle is in the penalty and Ateneo has not capitalized on the free throws here. They have the momentum, the archers. No question about it, Randy. In the meantime, here's Santa Maria, who has played so steadily. And here's the weave by LaSalle. That weave is not so in, uh, much in vogue nowadays. Cortez going there, but Wilson oh. gets it! And they're getting the points downstairs, Seb, for De La Salle. This is a different uh, ploy for Coach Ransomar, and this is the biggest lead for De La Salle, 63 to 60. And look at this, a big steal. Big pocket job against Tanchi. It's a walk in the park. Really a big problem for Ateneo. They could not bring down that ball from the backcourt. Cortez has played steady basketball, and suddenly it's a five-point lead for the Green Archers. Here's Gonzalez. Two solid. Big pocket job. It's Cortez. Cortez over now. Two. Oh. No good. Wesley Gonzalez. And there's a whistle. Good go against Man Yes, and uh, Ateneo was lucky that Castro missed his layup. Ano ni? Regalo ni? Ayun ni. Give me the game. Hindi na yun para sa kanya. Coming from Cortez would have gone straight. Watch this. It's always from the blind side the turn. And they should be told that they should stop and at least give the ball. If you try to beat the press with the dribble, you're gonna miss that pass. Luckily for them, Castro missed a sorry one. And Jose was called for the foul on Wesley Gonzalez. And Gonzalez in the penalty. Sorry, partner. 8 minutes and 54 seconds to go. Green Archers. Getting some big points off steals, off turnovers. And now Gonzalez trying to get into the flow of things. He is a scorer as we check out Mr. Uh, Raleigh Cruz, our head coach in MB, uh, ABS Union Sports. Mr. Cover the Rosario of the Armed Forces in the Philippines. Mr. Gabby Lopez is there, of course. Our uh, chairman of ABS CBN. Gonzalez replaced now by Andrew Cruz for Ateneo. Uh, why we go now? While we go now to Bobby Young for this close-up courtside update, Bobby, the press has worked for us out. Yes, and now they're matching hustle with hustle. So it's press against press now. That's why Mike Cortez was in. Now Mike Cortez is out now with the uh, one inside. So they're matching hustle against hustle. Coach Rasmussen and now has Wilson and Castro in. So that's another set of press legs to battle hustle against hustle. Go Coach Kumar and going to a hustle unit with Santa Maria at the center spot. Seb Randy. And it's going to go against Ateneo, Parker. Yes, and that rubbed off the thigh of Paul Tan Chi, who almost had a steal. We'll try to see if we can see it here. Off the foot, oh, rather the foot. than the thigh. That confirms the uh, 
development there, and the Blue Eagles down by three, 65 to 62. Here's Ronald Cohen trying to set up the table. Alvin Castro, he's been steady as well. Here's Wilson, has provided some cushion points. Top of the key hold, we go to Cohen. Into the wings, the long tom. Yes! It's a three by Castro! That's his shot, partner. And LaSalle is on top, 68-62. And they're playing so much better, like the champions that they truly are. They had some anxious moments in the first half, but now they're composed. And the heart of the champion showing here in the second half. In the meantime, Ateneo has hardly brought the ball across the midcourt line. Here's Alvarez, downstairs to Villanueva, but that's going nowhere. Here comes Wilson, popping out with a steal. Maybe and not, yeah, not the right idea for Alvarez to bring down the ball, partner. He's too tall to dribble that ball, and they lost it. another turnover for Ateneo. Bucks some ball, there's a steal. Could be a foul on Alvarez. Well, even the game of Alvarez is dropped here, Seb. Uh, he was our, he was a good player. He was playing really well. And number three on Alvarez. And the Blue Eagles, Brasport, the timeout buzzer. They are down 68 to 62. Back with us here. The shot by Castro did not work. And a foul has been called on Ronald Cohen, partner. For De La Salle, two free throws for uh, Paul Tanchi. As we now uh, scan the horizon to be able to search for our uh, close up couple of the game. We got it. And these are Alex Arellano of Ateneo, Ara Guerrero of La Salle. Hope will get will, will ever the twain meet? <laughs> and they are our close up couple. And uh, for strong, shiny white teeth, precious, fresh breath. Sabi ko na nga ba't may lahi tayong Cupido eh. Magkita kaya yung dalawang yan. Actually, siguro pag hinanaman natin sa alumni records natin, meron mga ganyang kombinasyon. Yes. Samantala, Ateneo missing from the free throw line. 68-63, 7.39 to go. Ateneo applying its own version of a press. Outside shot will not work for Castro. Here comes Ateneo. Season on the attack. Season penetrating. Oh! Wow, what a shot by Ranger season. Quickly now to Pia Gonzalez for this close-up courtside update. Yes, Seb, after leading throughout the first half, it is rather lacking and disconcerting to find yourselves in a position of having to play catch-up. And that is why it was necessary for Coach Olipa to call a timeout in order to remind his boys to keep their focus, to remember their roles on court, and to play the simple basketball. This is where Atideo should be able to call on all that preseason experience and on the, find out and remember how to keep their composure. Seb? And that will be vital here in the stretch. With less than seven minutes to go, LaSalle is in front, 68 to 65. Freeman substitution for Fran Tumaren, Jose Cortez and Ritualo coming in. You can, you can sense, partner, that Ateneo is still hurting from losing yes. that 11-point uh -huh. lead. Well, they cannot just hold on to that memory. They have to play up the same basketball that they did in the first half, Sam. It was Ritualo together with Cortez and together with Jose. Hard creating that uh, resurgence by the Green Archers. Ateneo, very sloppy ball handling. Yes, partner, they're slow in getting that ball. Cortez, who has been steady, penetrates, can't get it to drop. Enrico Villanueva, Ateneo, unable to get to the ball. Oh, but they did rule it in favor of the uh, Blue Eagles, partner. But again, Ateneo could have lost that ball to Mike Cortez on the baseline. Grabe si Cortez, ang bilis ng kamay niya. Oh, he, he reads the passing lane parang, so well. Parang alam niya yung dribble ni Tanchi. Pag ikot ni Tanchi, nahuhuli ka uh -huh. agad. Alam niya kung saan yung uh, spin move niya. And then he'll use his quick hands to get that ball. Six minutes and 34 seconds to go in our opening game. What an exciting opening game. Yes, partner. you should set the tone for the remainder of uh, UAAP 63. Tanchi trying to brush aside the defense of Cortez. William Reba, very silent in the second half. Bruce Watson, can't get it to drop. Ateneo forced to take those three-point shots now with impressive defense of De La Salle. Villanueva limited to only a point in the second half as we approach the six-minute mark. There's Ramos on the outside. Doesn't hand off to Ritualo. Finally goes to Mon Jose. 12 on the shot clock. Six minutes to go. Cortez. Tanti trying to keep in step. Into the wings we go. Mon Jose. Oh! It's a three! the patience of LaSalle in that last yes. play. Down to nine, 10 seconds, they look for the best option. 
Montanji nearly losing it along the sideline. 5 and 38 to go. Green Archers ahead, 71-65. Villanueva turns around. That will not go, will it, if it goes in. First foul called on Manny Ramos for pushing off on Rico Villanueva. There was no double team at the time. I think that's right for Rico to do. Don't wait for the double team to come. Make that move early on. He would have that advantage over Manny Ramos. In the meantime, Villanueva, because Lasalle is in the penalty, will shoot free throws. It's just that Antonero has not capitalized on this. But take nothing away from the Green Archers. They have played heads of basketball. I like the way their defense has created their offense. And Villanueva muffed the free throw. And the Wolves continue for Rico Villanueva, the free throw line. And that will take care of that one. Well, Rico would have to impose himself more at the post here in the second half for Ateneo to be able to come back to uh, set. He's had very little touches, or few touches here in the second half for the Ateneo Blue Eagles. In the meantime, here is the setup job by Mike Cortez. Uh, freshman by Tosi Cortez, uh, rookie by The second year second in the now. Penetration by Cortez! He's just smooth, partner. He's just smooth. He is so smooth, he has eight points in the game and nothing but green and white being unfurled here on game one. It lands in the hands of Villanueva into the corner. We go to season. Season chart looks strong. Rebound being fought for. LaSalle has it. Oops. Monusek really losing it. Cortez has to hang on for it. Here's Monusek across the timeline. Retualo. Yes. LaSalle partner is coming here. And this is the biggest lead of LaSalle. A nine-pointer. Make that a ten-pointer now, partner. It's 76-66. Oh, yeah. And Monusek. Got it on the chin. Elbow foul by Wesley Gonzalez. And he's holding on to his rib area. May have hurt himself. Look at this play for De La Salle. Renren Ritualo, three-point shot. Coming here at the 4 minute and 35 mark in the second half. Go, go La Salle, partner. Listen to La Salle roll. It's a complete turnaround. Yes. Ateneo with a lead of as much as 11 points, but that is gone. Well, Alvarez coming back to the fold for Ateneo, but I saw an ice pack on his uh, thigh. Let's see if Alvarez could get back that gem of a game that he displayed in the first Correct. half. No one no no no. Samantala Cortez on the attack. Drop off that goal! He's been setting up his teammates and Cortez really making an impact here in the second half. They're pushing the Ateneo dribblers into the sidelines, which is the idea of the press. Alvarez on the attack. That's the idea you were talking about. Yes, Alvarez. You know, when you're doing a press break, you attack the press. Don't wait for the double team to come. And Alvarez had the right thing in mind. 78-68, four minutes and five to go. Here's Wilson has provided some big points for Glasal. Cortez sets the table. Double. Back at the high post, they go to Ritualo, he lets it fly, he is fired! Oh, yeah. Could be a four-point play in the making, Sam! Just terrific, Brendan Ritualo, unbelievable. The best one step forward when it's necessary. Look at this, Cruz is committed, Ritualo unloads, bottoms the net for Redman, and LaSalle is on top, 13th, and a rare four-point play in the offense. I think the other teams, including Ateneo, will have to learn that you just don't foul with Rallo when he goes for the three-point shot. You have to make sure that he cannot unload. This is suddenly a 14-point lead. And Jolie finds a picture of frustration there. Nobody helping out. Oh, it's a lucky break for Ateneo. But nobody's right. No one's helping out. They're supposed to try and cover for Rangers. He's already present in the backcourt. He's calling for timeout. Jolie Pa. And the Blue Eagles simply crumbling here. Take nothing away from the Sala head. 82 68. This Randy. Yes, and uh, what a crowd here. 40 point lead for De La Salle. Only 3 minutes and 39 remaining. Problems plaguing Ateneo. La Salle has rehearsed this so well. Finally come to the oh! exit. Ateneo is just crumbling at this point, Sam. It's a whopping 16th pointer 
for De La Salle. And the Ateneo cheering section has been completely silenced. Cruz laps it over now to Alvarez. Alvarez down the baseline. That is not going to work. Alvarez can't get a field goal. Nothing is working for Ateneo. Yes, it looks like there's a lead on that ring of Ateneo in the midcourt oh. line. But I like the way La Salle. I'm sure they rehearsed this. Yes, so they much. practiced it. I, I use the word rehearse because they were able to perform it well here on the so floor. So much. But then also for the opponents of De La Salle, this should be a neat lesson in the pressing defense that the archers have unloaded here in opening day. So if this continues, do you think there's going to be celebrating on Monday in La Salle Cup? <laughs> Yeah, they're going to celebrate because, uh, well, if, if it's a victory over Ateneo, but they're not going to call off classes, Seb. Okay. <laughs> no well, way. Uh, while Ateneo, on the other hand, a pale of gloom definitely will uh, come over the clouds at yeah. the Ateneo at the Loyola campus because uh, they, had, they had the advantage in the game, 11-point uh -huh. lead. And they slowly was eaten up by the defense, but they saw it in the first half. I was just wondering, Seb. Okay, well, well, you, can that. you can wonder later because <laughs> I'm going to introduce Anna Puno of Atenea and this uh, is her Colgate, Colgate sweetest smile, Colgate fresh confidence for a cool freshness that lasts for hours. Okay, you wanted to say? No, I'm just going to say okay. you're three in one partner in terms of pretty faces today. Huh? Okay. <laughs> we have to win something. <laughs> in the meantime, Santa Maria, I like the way he played also here today. Santa Maria. Sabi ko, ma, hindi, hindi niya kaya si Enrico sa loob. Pero uh -huh. when Muscle went uh, against Muscle, he was okay. Bobby Yan, uh, masaya na dyan sa side ng Lasal as we present your close-up court side update. Yes, like you said, uh, Ateneo collapsing right now. Pero bakit hindi ka masaya? <laughs> Dapat masaya ka. <laughs> like you said right now, Ateneo collapsing right now. And this defense that you say that uh, Lasal's rehearsing is what they call the amoeba defense, which is described by some of the players. As a, like an amoeba, it swarms, it spreads throughout the court and causes so much trouble for the players. Now the key here is Wilson. He was playing the three spot. Last year now he's playing the four spot. Now we know he's very small for the four. So let's see how he uses his quickness to this advantage in this last two minutes and 55. Seb? Another turnover, Seb. They tried to lob it a cross-court pass too high for Rico to field. And amoeba indeed, <laughs> Mr. Uh, Bobby Young going biological here. He's gotten so many units from De La Salle in terms of natural uh, sciences. I think six units for him. Okay. Did he pass? <laughs> I guess so, he graduated. Okay. Oh! oh! A slam dunk! And Santa Maria capping his performance with that big, big slam. Just terrific. He yeah. brings in the energy for the archers. Oh, definitely. Two minutes and 30 to go. 17-point lead. First blood drawn by the LaSalle Green Archers. And Ateneo will have to go back to their Leola gym and really uh, solve the dilemma of this press of LaSalle which is really a very choking kind of defense. There we go again. They just could not execute Ateneo because of the pressing defense. The ball could not go to the spots where they wanted. And here comes Wilson. We're moving into the last two minutes. Retualo can't knock it in. Knock it in. Last two minutes brought to you by Head & Shoulders. New advanced scout care here. Uh, scout care rather, Head & Shoulders for total care from scout to care. In the meantime, the ball game at 87 to 70. Look at the display for Adoni Santa Maria. Just strong boy, Santa Maria. Big revelation. And this guy also, Mike Cortez. Oh, yes. Partner. The secret was unloaded today. Mike Cortez. Look at the director of Ritz and Fante, who went to both schools, but cheers for us. <laughs> I'm also seeing uh, Rico Yan, the brother of Bobby, who's there. Uh -huh. I wonder where the Yan brothers are having merienda after this. <laughs> I'm joining them. There's Rico. On the other hand, nothing but gloom on the side of the Blue Eagles. But this is huge. Set. Not today, not today. But they had that 11 point lead, keep that in mind. I'm going to watch the next game, UST FPU, that's going to be a big one. Oh, yes. In the meantime, Alvarez, and that's not going to work. And that's the struggle of Ateneo. Too hard here in the second half. They didn't play that smart. They played too hard, and LaSalle has a 19-point advantage over Ateneo. A minute and a half remaining in the ball game. Take nothing away also from Franz Bumarin, who did not flinch, uh -huh. who did not panic, when suddenly Ateneo was surging forward inside to Santa Maria. 
leans on uh, Billion Weber that will not work. And keep in mind, as we give way to the programs of ABS-CBN, we will have you over there at Studio 23, and Mon Lusset takes it away for the FU-USD game. Cortez into the wings, Retualo, will he cap it? Oh! It's a great shot by the Steals for De La Salle, five three-point shots for Retualo. And Retualo with a superlative performance of 23 points. I thought it was one of those days when he wouldn't click, but he but proved today, me wrong. Partner, he's got, what, 23 points in the ball game? And the bulk of it, 18 in the second half, and the fight has been taken out of the Ateneo Blue Eagles. 94-70 for the Eagles, uh, for the De La Salle Archers. They're just throwing the ball away, partner. Ateneo allowed LaSalle to score For too nine, many points. Just too many in the second half. LaSalle only scored 39 in the first half. And they're already in the 90s. Right now, 94. That's a big explosion for LaSalle in the second half. Just moments away from completing this one. And we would like to thank our mother station, ABS-CBN Channel 2, for allowing us to stay on the air and allow us to present to you the UAAB. I'm sure Noli Castro, our Kabayan, um, is enjoying the game, but you'll enjoy his <laughs> report later on in MTV Magandang Gabi Bayan. Retuano, now only two seconds away from an official Lasalle victory on opening day! 94 to 70 and the green and white celebrating! Final score, 94 to 70 for Telesal. Randy and I will be back this after this. Next unpopular. Excuse me, I'm sorry for interrupting. The other song of Delasal being uh, sung quite well because it's a big win by the Green Archers, 94 to 70. We just like to present to you a few things before we say goodbye on our part of the uh, afternoon. The Milo Energy Player of the Game, your choice. Well, Brendan Ritualo, you cannot ignore the numbers of Brendan. 23 points, 18 second half points. He was there on defense. He was there on offense. Well, big big start for Brendan Ritualo. Okay. On the other hand, we also have our um, Rejoice play of the game. We have a lot of things to present to you. The Milo Energy player of the game, Ritualo, I think, he played awesome in the first half. Uh -huh. Lala lang eh, bumitaw at uh, maganda performance ng uh, anak din ng former uh, professional player. Yes, he rendered, of course, the two steals, the four rebounds he registered. He was there. He First, he played defense before his offense started in the second half. He was the one, two, three uh, pressing defense of De La Salle from the full court to the back court. And that resulted in easy baskets, of course, how can you miss the five three-point shots that he unloaded in the ball game? Okay. Can't I join them? Well, there, there's yes, a, no. Sure. Okay. You, I allowed you to sing <laughs> earlier. Okay, the rejoice play of the game. That could have been the turning point for this uh -huh. particular encounter. Yes, and um, well, I think in the in the play for uh, for De La Salle, it started with a steal, and then they come up this with the best easy play. Point. Is brought to you by Rejoice. Okay. Lam both hot oil, do hot oil. Ang ganda ng forma. I told you there was an announcer beforehand. Okay, <laughs> break this down. Well, look at this movement. Brennan Ritualo will be blocked, and uh, there's going to be a steal here, and then, or Ateneo. They gang up on him downstairs. Yes, well, this is the one by Alfred Antonio. Okay. It was a scintillating play, but they needed that in the second half. It never came, but we just have to be happy with this. Rejoice with this play for Alfred Antonio. Okay, and that'll do it for us here. In just a short while, it will be FEU against USD. Again, the final on behalf of all of us here, Pia, Bobby, and Randy. The final score here is 94-70. A big win for the Dallas Hall Green Archers over their arch rivals, the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Join our friends in just a short while for the next big game.